Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you specifically how to create an assessment in AWARE using items from the item bank for ELAR or SLAR. We're going to follow the same procedures as before with our math assessment, but in this one we're going to switch and search for the resources first so that we can choose our passage and then attach the questions that we like. So when we log into AWARE, make sure to go to the assessment tab so we can create our assessment. Down below, we're going to create a new blank test so we can get items from the item bank. It's important to use proper naming conventions if, in case you have any issues with your assessment. It helps us find it more easily and it also helps you understand what the assessment involves. So choose a school and then a, a grade, a subject, a unit, a month, and a year. Choose your subject. Even though it's not required, we recommend that you always set performance levels so that you can track students' progress. And then finally, make sure you choose your course. This helps uh, know where the TEKS are. If you're doing English language arts, it's going to be that second one. If you're doing Spanish language arts, you have to scroll down a little bit further. Once you have selected all options, then you can choose Generate Test. It defaults to the Questions tab. I'm going to click on a blue button. I'm going to be searching for items from the item bank. It defaults to searching by question by TEEK, but for reading and writing, we need to switch it to the resources. The view is going to look a little bit different. It's showing me there are 35 resources currently. I can switch and filter by genre if I want to narrow it down, because 34 is quite a few resources. Now I've got four. Sometimes those are not set. As you notice, this very first passage, the genre, lexile, and word count are not set. So if I filter, it's going to take out some of those passages with, no, with nothing set. So if I want to get more information about this passage, same way that I looked at math questions, once I hover over it, you'll see the hand appear on your mouse. I click on it, and it will expand. Don't worry, these lines will not appear in your test, either printed test booklet or online but you can at least get a look at it if that's the type of passage that you want. Scroll down and you can just decide which one is the correct type of passage. Once you decide, yep, this is the right passage that I want, I've read through it, it seems to be appropriate for my students, I can look right below it. It says questions linked to resource. There are nine questions associated with this passage. If I click on the caret, it will expand. So I can add all questions to my test, or I can go through and add question by question by reading through the questions and deciding if it is the type of question I want to ask my students. Notice it will give you the correct answer, and it also will show you the TEEK. So I can go through and add a couple of questions that I like that meet my needs. Once I'm ready and I have added all of the questions that I want, I click here to add them to test. Currently, they're just in my shopping cart. Now, I can stop here and leave it at one passage and multiple questions. Or, if I want to scroll down, I can add another passage to make it a multiple passage test. Clicking on that blue plus sign. Wherever you, whichever blue plus sign you click, that's exactly the location it will add. You can search for the item bank again. Remember. Switch to resources. I can decide, hmm, let me look at this one. I like it. Let's look at the questions. As soon as I add questions, it automatically adds the passage. You don't have to select the passage to add it. Click add to test. And that's how I add reading questions to a test for English or Spanish tests. Let's say I didn't like all of the questions or there weren't enough good questions that were associated with the passage. I can actually write in my own questions, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Below the passage, anywhere you want, so if I click right here, it would be adding it as in front of the first question. I click here. I'm not going to search item bank because I'm going to write my own question. I'm going to check new item. All of the different options come up. I could change it to a different type of response, but I'm going to leave it as selected response so that I get a multiple choice question. Notice that my standards are not set, and um, it is currently set up as multiple choice. So this is where I would write 
the question. And then below, I fill in all of my different answer choices. So this is whatever my answer choice A is. And then, you know, the girl walked to the park, whatever I want to put for my different answer choices. And then I also need to select which one is my correct answer by clicking inside the circle. Okay. The other thing that I want to do, especially if I'm going to be setting up online uh, testing, is I want to link the resource. I need to tell AWARE when the student is doing online testing which passage they should be looking at when they take this test. So I'm going to click Link Resources, and I was putting in the Maid of the Mist. Oops, here's definitely one thing to notice. I actually put in an editing passage. I didn't actually check that it was a fiction or a nonfiction passage, so definitely make sure that you notice those kind of things. Click Update. And that will allow the students to see the passage when they are looking at this question. If I want to add my standard, I click Add Primary Standard so that it's tied to the teak. I can scroll down. I can filter by whatever I want to filter by. I can filter by words that are in the teak. I can filter by numbers. And then I can click and select them that way. Okay, once I'm finished, I'm going to hit Save. And there is my new question that I wrote that will line up with the passage that I selected. So that's how you add questions to a reading or writing test, and also how you can add in your own questions, not just use the questions from the item bank. In order to finalize an, this assessment and set it up for online testing for students, please look for the next video in my series.